Greetings, I am Father Aaron Leach once again, and uh, today we are doing something a little bit different. We are actually going to go out into nature, and we are going to gather ingredients uh, to make solar uh, water today. Today is uh, Sunday, and uh, uh, later on will be the hour of soul, and this is our last chance to do this before the moon begins to wane. So... We're kind of doing this a bit impromptu, so bear with us as we go through this. This isn't scripted. Uh, let me switch the camera around. I'm not alone today. I actually have these two lovely ladies. This Hello. is Deacon uh, Carrie Leach, and this is AJ Leach, our spinster. Uh, she's the one that makes all the uh, thread and wicks for our, <laughs> for our candles. And today we want to show you a little bit of old school witchcraft. I'm going to show you what this stuff really looks like. It doesn't, uh, we're, we're not inside, we're not in the temple, there's no circle, no pretty altars. This is going out and uh, getting our hands dirty and uh, gathering ingredients from Mother Nature herself. And that's Cerberus in the backyard, so let's get a move on this. Now, we grow everything here that we can um, so that we can gather herbs off of our own property. This is hibiscus, sacred to the sun. And as you can see, we've got a rather large, pretty hibiscus tree here in our own front yard. Now you notice what we do is we strip leaves, but we don't take them off from one place. We move around. And of course, we interact with the spirits of the tree. Hello, guys. Okay, I think this is enough leaves. Oh, not quite. Quite a bit. We're coming today to take your leaves, prune you a little bit, and we're going to make you into sacred solar holy water. Now it is the leaves that we want, by the way. Um, we're not interested in their flowers. We're not interested in berries. Uh, what you want is the chlorophyll. The chlorophyll is the blood of the plant. And the blood is the life. The green part of the plant is where the spirit resides. And how are we doing there? We probably got about enough. Okay. Yeah, for what we do, yeah, it's probably. Okay. So we're going to bag that. Now what was the other one that we're getting from here? It wasn't uh, rosemary. Across the street. Across oh, the yeah, street. Right. Okay. Uh, rosemary from here and orange from across the street. Well, we'll, we'll give the rosemary plants a break. Um, okay. They're, I want to wait till spring to harvest those. So we'll get rosemary elsewhere. All right. So let's take you over here. We're going right across our street because we live in Florida. And if you're making solar water, you can't ask for a better plant than any kind of citrus plant. We live in Florida, so they're all over the place. This is actually a vacant lot. Now, on our own property, we can be informal because the spirits of those plants, we feed them, we take care of them, we give them our attention. But if we're off our own property, then we have to follow a few more formalities, okay? We have to make sure Again, we're going to interact with the spirits of the tree. Hello, guys. Oh, an orange. Yeah, that's a tangerine. This is a tangerine tree. Leave that there. Leave that there. Why can't I take a tangerine? Because these are really sour and you don't want to eat them. Yeah, and we don't want to take anything we don't need. So, guys, we're going to take your leaves. We're going to prune just a few of your leaves. They're nice and waxy. These are really good leaves. And we are going to make you into solar, <laughs> solar holy water. Benedictus and oh, Nomine, so. Benedictus, Dominus and Nomine, Patre et Filiae, et Spiritus Sancte. Amen. These <coughs> are just very nice. Now, flowers are just starting to come on. Yeah, we leave, we leave the flowers alone, of course. Just trim leaves off from here and there. Ooh, I 
like this crazy one and I find two things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm having a little trouble keeping the camera focused on my hand while I reach for these. How are we doing so far? Yeah, we need a few more. Okay. They're small. And it is... Uh, important that we show you this next part. We have taken the leaves that we want to take, we've communicated and prayed over the tree, but now it's always important to pay for what you take. Um, there are different forms this can take, but since our influence comes from the uh, African traditional religions, we uh, go the route of paying with coins. So I think uh, you've got, what, uh, three coins there? Yep. A couple of pennies and a nickel. Mm -hmm. um, denomination doesn't matter, you can use three pennies, it just, it just matters that you throw some change out, really. And go ahead and thank you guys. There's payment for what we've taken. And uh, blessed be spirits. Mm. All right. Smells pretty, guys. It does smell yeah, pretty, even doesn't the it? leaves smell kind of orange, don't they? They mm -hmm. sure do. This is going to make some very nice solar water. All right. So that was the extent of what we could gather on and near our own property. So we're going to strike out now. Fortunately, there are still a lot of areas around in this part of Florida where uh, trees and plants are allowed to grow wild. So yes, sometimes witchcraft does require getting into the car. And we're not going to be going very far. Yeah, guys. Which one are we going to first? Uh, the lemon. Ah, uh, yeah, that's one. We're gonna gather. We're gonna, gonna get ourselves another citrus fruit, another citrus plant. I'm sorry, citrus fruit plant. Uh, lemon, and I believe nearby that was juniper. Mhm. Mm yep. And we probably won't keep you guys on board for gathering all six plants, but uh, you get to see us gather a couple more and see how we do it. Hello and welcome back. I should have known that the live stream wouldn't uh, wouldn't appreciate us driving around, but I got us back just in time for our next plant. All right. All right, Carrie, where are we gonna? Okay. All right, so right now we're gathering our third plant, for those who are just joining us, we're gathering our third plant for the solar water. And in this case, it's a juniper. And for those who are wondering what we're doing exactly, um, we, the, um, the water that we make um, is actually an herbal infused whole water. And the herbs have to be gathered, preferably by hand like this, right, uh, from Romulary. And each one has to be sacred to the sun. In any case, we're connecting with the tree. Hey guys. Hello spirits. Hello spirits. AJ does enjoy talking to the spirits. Say hi to the spirits. What do they say back to you? They say hi. They say hi? They say anything else? How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> are they saying, why are you taking our leaves? Because we need... Now don't pull hard. Be very gentle. Just take the leaves. Let's put that in there. And you need to use both hands. Say hi. And we will be taking your leaves. Do you use and a holy water for the sun. We're getting just about enough for the juniper. Are we? Yeah. I'll grab over here myself.
as in the previous videos, we're only looking for the leaves, not its berries, and not its flowers. We just want the green part. Chlorophyll is the blood, is the life. Show them respect. They don't mind being pruned. Okay. And now we're going to pay for what we take. We're going to say thank you very much, spirits. Benedicte in nomine Patre et Filii et Spiritus Sancte. Well, whatever you got. We just need three. Uh, I'll throw them down. There you go. I love communicating with Say thank you, tree spirit. Thank you, tree spirit. There you go. We take what we take. You never take from nature without giving back in some symbolic way. Alright, so I guess I need to get another bag because we gotta go that way. Yeah, and don't brandish that. <laughs> <laughs> where we're going right now is to where Carrie knows of a lemon tree. Uh, once again, citrus is always sacred to the sun. And this is why it's good to get to know your local area, because you know about any of this unless I went walking throughout this whole area. Yeah, so when Carrie says we, she means she, because I don't know where any of these plants and trees are. Where is this lemon tree? See those white buildings down there? Oh, okay. It's a little bit of a walk. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> Alright, I think we're almost there, guys. Yeah, it's a very gray day today. I wish the sun were out. Usually these trips involve a lot more sweat. <laughs> yeah, we've, uh... That's the bottled brush tree that is currently in our Saturn water, in fact. It's a little hard to reach and we won't go climbing any walls, so... Alright, I need you to hold the bag for me. Mm -hmm. Do that. Open up. Alright. Wanna say hello to the tree spirits. Hello, lemon spirits. Be careful, oh, this does have and there various, are, this does have spikes on it. I see, yeah, those are, um, oh wow. I think these are called, I'm not sure if this is Meyer lemon or not, but there are, believe it or not, some citrus Oops. does have small spikes, although these are huge. Yeah, these are impressive. This would be good in a Mars water, too. Hello, lemon spirits. Is this for the lemon spirits? Yep. All right, hello, lemon spirits. What do they say to back to you, AJ? Hello. We are taking your leaves. We're printing some of your leaves for use in a solar holy water. There we go. Did the live stream stop? Nope, we're still live streaming. Ow. <laughs> you bit you. You bit me a little bit too. Yep. Benedictus and nomine patre et fide et spiritus sancte. Amen. All right, so three coins. three coins. Now this, you're gonna have to toss over the two fences. Here, let me do this one. I, I can do it. Let me just get the three coins. I can hardly see the screen. <laughs> Here, let me see. I only took out two of them. Oh. I can, I can throw better. <laughs> 
Here, I'll tell you what. Let me do. Let me do one. You do one, and mommy does one. All right. Oh, here we go. You know what? I got. So. Yeah. What do I got here? I got a. I got a nickel. Thank you, tree spirits. Three. Off that goes to you. Oh. Oh. Almost. <laughs> Over it goes. Very good. All right. All right. There you go. <laughs> All, All right. right. All right. So. AJ, come back. We're basically going to end it right here. I think we have four of the six plants that we need. Uh, we've gotten them from our local area. We didn't drive far when we lost the live stream. We were only gone for a minute or so. And uh, yeah, this we is, have... Yeah, this is maybe a quarter mile from our house. Yeah, there's two yeah. more we're going to have to find. But we're not going to drag you along for that. But we just wanted to give you several examples and show how we properly take them. You pray over the tree and you bless it. You communicate with the spirits. And you always pay for what you take. Um, we're going to go ahead and close this down here, and then we'll see you guys Later. Uh, around 140. That will be the hour of the sun, and we will be at home, and we will prepare the solar holy water. Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to part four of our little adventure today. Uh, once again, I am Father Aaron Leach, and this is Deacon Carrie Leach. And today we are bringing you folks along on our journey to make solar holy water. Uh, it is currently both the day and hour of soul, and uh, if you were with us earlier, you know that we went out today and gathered uh, six different plants, uh, each one sacred to the sun, and we are now going to infuse those plants ritually into uh, holy water. So, without mm -hmm. further ado, let's switch this guy around here. Switch. Okay, now, before we get started, we're going to do just what I did last time. We have to light our fire because no consecration can take place without the presence of fire. Um, begin with our candle. I have depth perception today. I exercise thee, O creature of... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm on the wrong prayer. Let me go down. I exercise thee, O creature of fire, in the name of the sovereign and eternal Lord, by his ineffable name, which is yod heh vav -Hey, by the name Yah, and by the name of power El, that thou mayest enlighten the heart of all who shall come into this place, so that they appear before us without fraud, without deceit, through him who has created all things. Amen. Go back a page for me. Right here. Oh, no, wait. Maybe a little too far. There is. Oh, no, you gotta go back. Oh. The light in the fire, and then go back a chapter. Because we need to constantly okay. exercise our coal. Ready? Oh, wait. On the next page. It is. It is here. Exorcism okay. of the fire. Okay. Let's catch. I exorcise thee, O creature of fire, by him through whom all things have been made, so that every kind of phantasm may retire from thee and be unable to harm or deceive in any way. Through the invocation of the Most High Creator of all. Amen. Bless, O Lord, all-powerful and all-merciful, this creature of fire, so that being blessed by thee it may be for the honor and glory of thy most holy name, so that it may work no hindrance or evil unto those who use it. Through thee, O eternal and almighty Lord, and through thy most holy name. Amen. Now, uh, we are uh, retrieving the solar incense from the temple. I'll give you a better introduction to what we have going on here. This is the vessel. It's made of ceramic, so it's an earthen vessel that we're going to use to consecrate and create the herbal water. These are the six herbs we created. Now, you might have to help me here. 
Uh, this one was bogan hibiscus. Uh, hibiscus. Mm -hmm. This one was juniper. The juniper. Here's the rosemary. Mm -hmm. This was the lemon. Mm -hmm. And this is what was the last one? Orange. Orange or tangerine, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And number six, we got some saffron. And all of these are sacred to the sun. And now that we've returned with the incense, let's get that going. All right, the fire is lit. We have spring water here. We're going to make about half a gallon of this at a time. So we're just going to add this water. This is spring water uh, for the same reasons that you saw in the last video. It comes from under the ground. It comes from the underworld where our ancestors live. And it represents all of the wisdom and knowledge that they would bring to us. And you can make uh, holy waters with other waters, of course, but uh, the standard default is spring water always. And over this I will say, God, who art the truth and the life, deem to sanctify this water, which, wa which shall be used in your workings. Okay? Amen. Now at this point we are going to, using my bare hands, I'm going to break and tear the plant material while I have it submerged in the water. This will release the chloroform, the blood of the plant, into the water. And we're going to watch the water darken and get greener as we go. We've got some really good green leaves here uh, today, so this is going to look nice. Um, I'm going to pass this on to uh, Deacon Carrie. Now she, because my hands are going to be taken up, she's going to be reading the psalms. There's going to be, I've, I've got one psalm for each uh, of the six plants, and we're just going to go in order. So just follow along with us. And as soon as you're ready. Uh, All right. Anytime. Go ahead. All right. O oh Lord my God, in thee do I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me and deliver me. Lest he tear my soul like a lion, rending it in pieces while there is none to deliver. O oh Lord my God, if I have done this, if there be iniquity in my hands, if I have rewarded evil unto him that was at peace with me, yea, I have delivered him that without cause is mine enemy. Let the enemy perse persecute my soul and take it. Yea, let him tread down my life upon the earth and lay mine honor in the dust. Selah. Arise, O Lord, in thine anger. Lift up thyself because of the rage of mine enemies, and awake for me to be the judgment that thou hast commanded. So shall the congregation of the people compass thee about. For their sakes, therefore, return thou on high. The Lord shall judge the people. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness, and according to mine integrity that is in me. O oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just, for the righteous God trieth the hearts and reigns. My defense is of God, which saveth the upright in heart. God judgeth the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. If he turn not, he will whet his sword, he hath bent his bow, and made it ready. He hath also prepared for him the instruments of death. He ordained his arrows against the persecutors. Behold, he travaileth with iniquity, and hath conceived mischief, and brought forth falsehood. He made a pit, and digged it, and has fallen into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall return upon his own head and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness, and I will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. That was Psalm 7. We will move on to Psalm 19. Alright. 
The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. He is going forth, is from the end of the heaven, and his circuit unto the ends of it, and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean during forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is a great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou from his equals, keep back his presumptions, presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Psalm 34. Okay. Let's go for hibiscus. Hibiscus. All right. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will praise, shall, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked in, unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth around them that fear him, and delivereth them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack, and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life, and loveth many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil, and do good. Seek peace, and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upright on righteousness, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth the earth and all the Lord is not in their own heart, and saveth such as be contrite in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of, all, out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked. And they that hate righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth all of his servants, and none of them trust him shall be desolate. Now we will move on to Psalm 50. <coughs> and before you uh, start reading, add some more uh, incense okay. to the coal there. Mm -hmm. So we're at fifth psalm? The fourth psalm. Okay, One, two, you're right. Three. You're right. Okay. So now we're, we're adding orange leaves. Orange leaves. These and nice. reading Psalm 50. The mighty God, even the Lord, hath spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God hath shunned. 
Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous round about him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth, that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for God is judge himself, Selah. Hear, O oh my people, and I will speak. O oh Israel, and I will testify against thee. I am God, even thy God. I will not reprove thee for thy sacrifices or thy burnt offerings to have been continually before me. I will take no bull out of thy house, nor he goes out of thy fields. For every beast of the forest is on and kill upon a thousand hills. I know all the fowls of the mountains and the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell thee. For the world is mine, and the fullness thereof. Will I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats? Offer unto God thanksgiving, and pay thy vows unto the Most High. And call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. But unto the wicked God saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldst take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thy hate, thou hatest instruction, and casteth my words behind thee, when thou sawest a thief, then thou consentest with him, and hast been partaker with adulterers. Thou hast given thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou slanderest thine own mother's son. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself, but I will reprove thee, and set them in order before thine eyes. Now consider this, ye that forget God, lest I tear you into pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoso offereth praise glorifieth me, and to him that ordereth his conversation aright will I show the salvation of God. Psalm 50, we will go to Psalm 68. Okay. All right. I want to do the rosemary. Okay. Psalm 68 with the rosemary. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melteth before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But the righteous be glad, let them rejoice before God. Yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. Sing unto God, sing praises to his name. Extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name, Yah, and rejoice before him. A father of the fatherless and a judge of the widows is God in his holy habitation. God sitteth the solitary in families. He bringeth out those which are bound with chains. The rebellious dwell in a dry land. O God, when thou wentest for before thy people, when thou didst march through the wilderness, Selah, the earth shook, the heavens stood up at the presence of God. Even Sinai itself was moved at the presence of God the God of Israel. Thou, O God, didst send a plentiful rain, whereby thou didst confirm thine inheritance when it was weary. Thy congregation hath dwelt therein. Thou, O God, hast prepared of thy goodness for the poor. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. Kings of armies did flee apace, and she that tarried at home divided the spoil. Though ye have lean among the pots, yet ye, yet shall ye be as the wings of a dove covered with silver, and her feathers with yellow gold. When the Almighty scattered kings in it, was white snow and salmon. The hill of God is as the hill of Bashan, uh, and as the hill of Bashan. I leap ye, ye high hills. This is the hill which God desireth to dwell in. Yea, the Lord will dwell in it forever. 
The chariots of God are twenty thousand, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. Thou hast ascended on high. Thou hast led captivity captive. Thou hast received gifts for men. Yea, for the rebellious also, that the Lord might dwell among them. Blessed be the Lord, who daily loadeth us with benefits, even the God of our salvation. Selah. He that is our God is the God of salvation, and unto God the Lord belong the issues from death. But God shall wound the head of his enemies, and the hair scalp of such an one as goeth on the, his, that goeth on still in his trespasses. The Lord said, I will bring again from Bashan, I will bring my people again from the depths of the sea, that thy foot be dipped in the blood of thine enemies, and the tongue of the do thy dogs in the same. They have seen thy goings, O God, even the goings of my God, my King in the sanctuary. The singers went before, the players on instruments followed, followed after. Among them were the damsels playing with timbrels. Bless ye God in the congregation, even the Lord from the fountain of Israel. There is little Benjamin with their ruler, the princes of Judah and their council, the princes of Zebulun, the princes of Naphtali. Thy God hath commanded thy strength. Strengthen, O God, that which is wroth for us. Because of thy temple at Jerusalem shall kings bring presents unto thee. Rebuke the company of the spearmen, the multitude of the bulls, with the calves of the people, till every one submit himself with pieces of silver. Scatter thou the people that delight in war. Princes shall come out of Egypt. Ethiopia soon, shall soon stretch out her hands unto God. Sing unto God, ye kingdoms of the earth. O oh, sing praises of, unto the Lord, Selah. To him that rideth upon the heavens of heavens, which were of old. Lo, doth he send out his voice, and that mighty voice. Ascribe ye strength unto God. His excellency is over Israel, and his strength is in the clouds. O God, thou art terrible out of all places. The God of Israel is he that giveth strength and power unto his people. Blessed be God. And here in Psalm 68, and our last psalm is 72 with saffron. That would be nice to get more of this, but this stuff is not easy to come by. Alright, okay. ready? Last song. Give the king thy judgments, O God, and thy righteousness unto the king's son. He shall judge the people with righteousness, and thy poor with judgment. The mountains shall bring peace to the people, and the hills by righteousness. He shall judge the poor of the people, he shall save the children of the needy, and shall break in pieces the oppressor. They shall fear thee as long as the sun and the moon endure throughout all generations. He shall come down like rain upon the mown grass, as showers that water the earth. In his days shall the righteous flourish, and abundance of peace so long as the moon endureth. He shall have dominion also from sea to sea, and from the river unto the ends of the earth. They that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him, and his enemies shall lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and, the, uh, and of the isle shall bring presents. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall offer gifts. Yea, all kings shall fall down before him all nations shall serve him he shall deliver the needy when he crieth the poor also and him that hath no helper he shall spare the poor and needy he shall save the souls of needy he shall redeem their soul from deceit and violence and precious shall their blood be in his sight and he shall live and to him shall be given the gold of Sheba prayer also shall be made for him continually and daily shall he be praised there shall be a handful of corn in the earth upon the top of the mountains. The fruit thereof shall shake like Lebanon, and they of the city shall flourish like the grass of the earth. His name shall endureth forever. His name shall be continued as long as the sun. The men shall be blessed.
All nations shall call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, God of Israel, only with saints. Blessed be his glorious name forever. And let the whole of the earth be filled with his glory. Amen and Amen. The prayers of David, the son of Jesse, are ended. Amen. Okay, hold right there. Let me rinse off here. be dying yes yes it is <laughs> okay folks that ends the ritual we have now infused this water with the psalms you know, the solar psalms that was on uh god granting help when needed overcoming enemies uh judging you righteously um and this is going to be very good for the spells that you use it in uh, let's see, now, what we're going to do now, oh, I got it, I got it, it's okay. We're going to take eight ounces of Doxol's Consecrated Solomonic Holy Water, add that in there. I don't know if you can really see it, but it is starting to take on a slightly yellow tinge. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very green, but it's like a yellow green right now. Well, as it sits here and infuses, especially with the saffron, it'll... Yeah, and we're going to let it sit here uh, for a while, um, maybe a couple of hours or so, and then we'll bottle it and we'll refrigerate it. Um, another thing we're going to do as well, um, once we strain out the plant material, we have a bottle of vitamin E oil, and we're just going to squirt a few drops of that right in there, and that's going to help preserve it. Folks, we now have a new batch of uh, solar holy water. We'll update the site uh, probably tonight. And um, we've also got uh, something new coming out from Doc Sauls that we'll be using this as well. So we're excited about that. And we thank you all for joining us. And we hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, always remember you can post them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. So uh, blessed be everyone. Blessed be.